Hello, everyone. Along with the champs, Rusty Wallace and Andy Petrie, I'm Jerry Punch. Glad to have you with us here on what is a gorgeous night here in Bristol, Tennessee. Well, Carl, with that said, where is the best place to pass the pass on this racetrack? Have you identified a place that you think is going to work good for you? Now, there's only four tracks in America that have this type of multi-bank angle tracks. That's Homestead Speedway, Urbandale out in California, New Iowa Speedway, and now Bristol. You know, it's a first for everything, Jerry, and this is the first time these cars have been on this racetrack at night. They've all done all their practice and qualifying and practice, but never have they been under night conditions. So you take a look at Denny Hamlin. He grew up on the short tracks. He's ran every bull ring in the southeast. And if he's ever going to run good at a racetrack, these short tracks at Bristol's are really right up his alley. So you know one thing I should talk about, guys, the racetrack, it looks white. It is concrete, concrete but below that, well, the guy I'm looking at right now is a one-car Martin Truex. He's went from dead last year after that loose lug nut, that penalty where he had to start in the back. He's worked himself all the way up to 20th. And, hey, he's one of the guys right now who's locked into the chase for the, not, not locked in, but he's locked in with the 12th position. And he's only, uh, well, he doesn't have too big a jump on him when it comes to the points, but. Well, McMurray, he's at the tail end of the lead lap right now if the nine gets past him, you know, he's going to be the first guy to get the lucky dog. Now McMurray, he's hoping for a caution flag right now because if it falls now, he'll get the lucky dog and get back on this lead lap. Right now, Jamie McMurray, who's the lucky dog, if it comes out right now, he is just hoping this caution flag, like I said earlier, because the next guy ahead of him that Casey Kane's going to run down is Robbie Gordon, and Robbie Gordon is driving his brains out, too. And I don't think McMurray wants to mess with Gordon because those two are wrestled pretty hard over this lucky dog spot. Time now to reveal the results of our AT&T Crew Chief Challenge. Now, the question was, who has the best chance to win his first next Del Cup Series C. race of the season? Who was it? Who C. Who C. C. Vote C. For? Come on. I just don't know how you're going to bet against Casey Kane. I don't bet right. against Casey. Oh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. gets the vote over Casey Kane. I tell you, the guy I'm really concerned about for himself right now, Jerry, is the 29 car, Kevin Harvick. He's all the way down to 12th in the points right now. He took a huge hit, and it all goes back to Watkins Glen with the problem he had there. Lost a lot of points, but now his car's not handling good tonight, and he is in trouble right now. He's tied for 13th right now with uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Uh, no, he's not tied. I'm sorry. He's, he's in 12th, and Dale Earnhardt Jr. is 13th behind him, so Kevin's the one in trouble right now. Robbie Gordon got in the back of David Gilly in the 30 car, turned to 38, turned him dead sideways, but he held on. And Andy, these car tomorrow's, <laughs> I got to believe that wing is really working good on him because David had that car pretty sideways and still held on. And he's got more momentum exiting the corner than David Gillian does at the moment, so that helped out. Yeah, this car kept popping out of gear throughout the night, and every time it pops out of the car. Here again. Every uh, I can't tell you for sure, Jimmy. I don't think so. Tough break for the rookie, David Reagan. He goes back behind the wall. Leader staying out. Jerry, we've been watching the lap timers here. And, and you know, that was a hard hit with Jimmy Johnson, but the car doesn't look that tore up in the back of it. These <laughs> things are, man, are like army tanks.